Welcome to Studio Press TV. In this episode, we're going to give you a quick intro on hooks in Genesis. So hooks are very useful pieces of code that allow you to insert content in specific places in a theme. Now Genesis has a lot of different hooks that are built into it that allow you to place your custom content in a lot of different places inside um, your child theme that you're working with or the custom theme that you're building. Now on the Studio Press site we have a resource that's called the Hook Reference that shows you all the different places that you can hook your content into the theme. Now for our purposes here we're just going to take a look at some of the structural action hooks and what these allow you to do is to specifically place your custom content at a point in the structure of the theme. And there's lots of places where you can do this. Uh, you have Genesis Before, which uh, will place your content after the opening tag in the document source. You have Before Header, that places your content immediately before the header, after header. Does exactly what it, you would think it would does. It places your content immediately after the header. Um, so there's lots of these different places in the structure that you can insert your custom code. And the beauty of hooks is that you don't have to modify the theme files. You can just leave them as they are and you can insert your content wherever you want it to be. Now for our purposes we're going to do something real simple. I have my uh, sample child theme here and what I want to do is I want to place a uh, simple message to my readers that's going to go above the footer and it's just going to simply say thanks for reading. So the hook that I'm going to use to do this is going to be called Genesis Before Footer. And so you'll notice down here I have the Genesis Before Footer action hook and that's going to execute immediately before the footer. So it's going to place my content immediately before the footer. Now to do this we're going to open up our code editor and I'm going to open up my functions.php file in my child theme. You can see I have it open there. And we're going to write a simple add action piece of code here. So we're going to start out. I'm going to tell it what I want to do. So I want to add an action. The action that I want to add is the Genesis before footer action hook. And then after I tell it exactly where I want it to be placed, so that's the hook, that's the location, it's going to be Genesis before footer, it's going to go before the footer in my Genesis theme, I now need to write my function. And all the function is, is the code that I want to insert, the content that I want to go before the footer. So right here what we're going to do is we're going to tell um, our functions.php file what the function name is that we're writing. You can give it any name you want, so I'm just going to call it my sample text. And now we can go ahead and write the function or the specific content that we're going to use here. So I'm telling you what function. I'm going to reference back to the function that I just uh, um, named there called my sample text. And now I can tell it exactly what I wanted to say. So let's say we'll put it in an H2 tag. I'm going to echo this out here and uh, we'll put it in an H2 tag. And we'll just say thanks for reading. Nice and simple. You can get as advanced as you want to with this, but we'll just keep it simple for our purposes right now. We'll save that. And as we go back out to our uh, test site here, we'll refresh the page. And notice down at the bottom here, my custom text shows up right there. Now obviously you can do so many more things with this, but this just shows you the power of hooks. And the fact of the matter is, is that you don't have to modify a single bit of code in your theme file, in, in Genesis for one, or even in your child theme. You can simply tell it where you want it to be placed by using the structural action hook and then placing the content. Now, for those of you uh, who maybe aren't, you know, don't want to do the echoing thing like that, don't forget you can always just close out your PHP tag as well and then just open it back up when you get down here to the bottom. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to, uh, if you want to use template tags or, or things like that uh, in your code, you can do that very easily. See, it'll still read the same here if I save that. And then you can just basically just kind of use normal HTML in your functions.php file if you just close out that, P that opening PHP tag and then just make sure you open it back up before your function ends. That's it. It's really simple and hopefully this will open up a whole new world of uh, using structural action hooks in your Genesis theme 
development.